Hey, welcome back. Riggs here. I've been doing more messing around with this honey block thing. And I think I sort of discovered uh, uh, something about the honey block that's going to make it kind of the new way to transport villagers and mobs long distances. And I'll show you that in a second. But I wanted to show you something that I discovered is that uh, this honey block uh, mechanic of not being able to jump and move slowly also works on half slabs and uh, also carpets. Uh, which I thought was kind of an interesting point. So if you're sort of below the halfway point of that block, you will be affected by the honey block mechanic, meaning you can't jump up. Um, so that's kind of neat. It does not work the same way with soul sand or cropland, by the way. I was sort of curious because those have hit boxes that are slightly shorter than a normal block. So I thought that was kind of an interesting uh, mechanic. And that means that you could also use those now uh, in instead of, a, you know, a, as a block to stand on. In a flying machine so now i'm being stuck to the half slab here which is uh kind of nice so if you wanted to make a much fancier uh flying machine and not use the honey block as the texture um that works now so but i also uh, realized that the fact that you cannot uh, jump when you are standing on a honey block also works for villagers um so if I grab a villager here, I'll grab a spawn egg from him. I can put him in this flying machine here and send him off and uh, he will be just fine. He's not gonna jump out of there and uh, you don't have to worry about setting up all the infrastructure for a rail cart um, or dealing with boats going over mountains can be kind of a pain because you always have to be going down in a boat, right? So um, anyway, I just wanted to show that and I'll just show you how to make that super quick uh, with the sidecar this time. So it's two honey blocks, two sticky pistons. Uh, please put a temporary block down there for the trap doors. Otherwise, you will uh, send it off as soon as you put the observers down uh, with the redstone bits facing in at the sticky pistons. Uh, there you go. And that is the flying machine. You have to add the platform now. That's going to be the honey block that the villager stands on. And then put any block you want here. It just has to be uh, something that it'll stick to. Don't use anything glazed or else it'll fly off without it. Uh, and then just put a little platform over here using honey blocks for you to stand on. And you can stand out here, something like that. And then uh, you put a villager in there and off he goes. That should do it. And he can go visit his friend and you can stand here and uh, hang out and monitor the progress as you go from wherever you, you start to wherever you need to go. And uh, I thought that was kind of a nice little thing because, you know, as I said, the uh, mine carts and the boats can be kind of a hassle. So that might be really useful, you know, send them up in a water uh, column and then get them in a uh, little flying machine and you can go over oceans or over mountains or whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, I've been kind of messing around with the, the uh, honeycomb block. And uh, but anyway, having fun with this and I hope you guys are too. And until next time, this has been Riggs. I'll see you soon. Hope you're well. Bye-bye.